If you're still using Eleven Labs for text to speech, hold on. You might want to watch this first. Why? Because what I'm about to show you is completely free, has unlimited usage, and honestly, it's even better. This is Google's brand new AI text to speech tool, and it's giving Eleven Labs some serious competition. Stick around because by the end of this video, you'll have access to one of the most realistic, expressive AI voice generators you ever heard. Whether you're making folk tales, motivational videos, podcasts, or dialogue scripts, this is a game changer. I'm going to show you exactly how to use Google AI Studio to turn any text into speech with real human emotion. It can laugh. <laughs> it can cough. <clears throat> it can even perform full conversations between characters, something Eleven Labs still struggles with. And yes, if you're wondering, this voice you're hearing right now. It's not my real voice. This is actually Google AI Studio's voice, the exact tool I'm about to teach you how to use. Pretty cool, right? Let's jump in. First, open Google Chrome or any browser you prefer, and search for Google AI Studio. I've also added the link in the video description for easy access. When you land on the site, you'll see a simple, clean interface. Under settings, you can switch between light mode and dark mode. I'm a dark mode person, so that's what I'll use here. Click the hamburger menu, the three lines at the top, and you'll see all the features: chat, streaming, media generation, documentation, the works. We'll explore those later, but for now, our focus is on native speech generation. Before you start, make sure your model is set to Gemini 2.5 Pro. You'll see other options like Gemini, Gemini 2, Flash, Gemini Lite, but for voice generation, Gemini 2.5 Pro is the one you want. Once you click Native Speech Generation, you'll see two options: single speaker and multi speaker. We'll start with single speaker and test multi speaker later in this video. When you enable single speaker mode, you'll see model settings including temperature. I usually leave this at the default. Now for the fun part: choosing your voice. Let's preview a few. Ready to build something awesome today? Got a project in mind? What do you want to explore? Ready to make something amazing? What sparks your interest? You'll be surprised how versatile Google AI Studio is. This isn't just about reading text. It can switch accents, speak multiple languages, and sound natural while doing it. For this tutorial, I'll go with the cozy voice. Now, I want to show you how Google AI Studio outshines Eleven Labs beyond just unlimited usage. I already have a sample script for comparison. Let's first paste it into Eleven Labs in any random voice. Click Generate Speech. The rain had just stopped when I stepped outside. The streets glistened, reflecting the golden glow of the street lamps. I could still hear the gentle dripping from the rooftops, like nature's quiet applause. As I walked, my mind wandered to the letter I had found earlier that day. Laughs. It wasn't addressed to me, yet somehow I knew it was meant for me. The handwriting was delicate, almost trembling. And the words they spoke of. A Did you hear that? The laugh sounded flat. It didn't capture the emotion the script was going for. Eleven Labs used to be my go-to until I tried Google AI Studio. Now let's run the exact same script through Google AI Studio. Click Run. Wait a moment, and here's what it sounds like. The rain had just stopped when I stepped outside. The streets glistened. Reflecting the golden glow of the street lamps, I could still hear the gentle dripping from the rooftops, like nature's quiet applause. As I walked, my mind wandered to the letter I had found earlier that day. <laughs> it wasn't addressed to me, yet somehow I knew it was meant for me. The handwriting was delicate, almost trembling, and the words they spoke of a place I'd never been. Yet felt like home. That's it. You can hear the difference. It actually interprets the laugh like a real person, not a robot. 
And as of right now, this tool is unlimited. That might change, so enjoy it while you can. Here's another amazing feature. The same voice can speak in different languages and accents authentically. Let's test it with Nigerian Pigeon. I'll paste a Nigerian Pigeon script into Google AI Studio using the cozy voice and click run. Hey, my people, make I tell you now what happened today. <laughs> you no go believe them. As I did work out for market this afternoon, I just they hear one small picking they cry. Mama, mama, I don't look. Chai. The picking don't jam head for one big basket of tomato. <laughs> the mama they shout, who go help me hold up? See the difference? This is why I call Google AI Studio an upgrade, not just an alternative. Before we move on to dialogues, let's have a little fun with languages. I went into ChatGPT and told it to translate the previous speech above to French. I copied that translation, went back to Google AI Studio, pasted it into the text box, and used the same core voice. Clicked run, waited a few seconds, and here is the result. Eh bien mes amis, laissez-moi vous raconter ce qui m'est arrivé aujourd'hui. <rire> Allez, vous n'allez pas y croire. Alors que je marchais au marché cet après-midi, j'entends un petit enfant crier « Maman, maman !» Je me retourne, oh là là, l'enfant avait foncé la tête dans un grand panier de tomates. <rire> la maman criait, qui peut m'aider à le tenir <rire> J'ai dit, madame, calmez-vous, c'est pas si grave. Mais quand je me suis penchée pour aider l'enfant, devinez ce que j'ai vu de... Even though I'm not a native French speaker, the pronunciation and accent sounded so natural, it could pass for a real French voice actor. So, if you're French and watching this, let me know in the comments how well the accent lands. Now, let's explore the multi-speaker feature, perfect for creating dialogues, podcasts, or audio dramas. Here's how it works. Click on multi-speaker and you'll see options to add different voices. For this example, I'll create a host and guest setup. Speaker 1, the host, male voice. I'll delete the default Speaker 1 label and type in James for easier tracking. Speaker 2, me, the guest, female voice. I'll name this one Bestie and choose the Kure voice. Once both voices are set, click Add Dialogue. A text box appears for speaker 1. I copy Mike's first line from my script and paste it in. Click Add Dialogue again for speaker 2. Paste my reply. Repeat this process, copying and pasting each line from my script into the correct speaker box until the entire conversation is loaded. When you're done, just click Run. After a short wait, Here's the output. Welcome back, everyone. You're tuned in to Tech Talk with James, and today I have my best friend, literally, Bestie, in the studio. Bestie, how you doing? <laughs> I'm good, James, and I'm extra excited today because we're talking about something that's been blowing my mind lately. Google AI Studio. Ah, yes, the magic lab where ideas turn into AI-powered reality. Tell us, what's so cool about it for you? First of all, it's crazy how easy it is to use. You don't need to be some coding genius to create amazing AI apps. You just describe what you want, tweak a few settings, and boom, it's alive. And just like that, you can create fully voiced conversations, no actors needed. This is perfect for podcasts, YouTube interviews, storytelling, audio dramas. Honestly, this feature alone can save creators time, money, and effort. So, if you're still using Eleven Labs, give Google AI Studio a try. You might never go back. And hey, if you've made it this far into the video, do me a favor. Like, subscribe, share, and drop your questions in the comments. I'll be glad to help. I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye for now.